Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to do a quick video going over the new power pack. So the last video we did the assembly and everything like that. Um, this video, we're just gonna kind of go over what the difference is between the V2.5, this latest version, and the V1 uh, and two. So there's a lot of changes that might not look like it. Obviously the color difference and stuff like that, but first we'll go over the hand controller. So there's a lot of updates in the hand controller and a lot of this is gonna be too close to see but the biggest things are completely new chip inside, allows for better processing, faster speeds, that kind of stuff. This also allows for data logging and um, Bluetooth control, Wi-Fi control. Um, so it allows basically a phone to be connected. Um, you can change settings through the phone versus having to plug it in over the computer, which is kind of how the old system was set up. And then also with the new version of the controller, it's a new case. So it no longer has that kind of 3D print layer line stuff. This is a nice solid uh, resin case, really strong, smooth, and it's even skinnier overall. So it fits in your hand skinnier, which is really nice too, because you're going to have brake toggles and stuff like that in your hands versus the old ones. Um, this also has improved haptics and sound. Um, so it vibrates nicer. You can feel it a lot better. It's also controlled uh, solely over CAN bus. So it's no longer controlled over PWM or anything like that. It's a fully digital system, uh, CAN bus control network for the ESC, the battery, the hand controller, all that stuff is done through CAN bus, which is kind of the standard for automotive and uh, airplane, basically like commercial airplane, uh, which, is, which is fine, the old system, but the old system just didn't have that much information it could pull through. It didn't talk to the BMS inside the battery pack, so you couldn't see stuff like the lowest cell, uh, your state of charge, it was kind of guessing. Uh, this new system has over 40 different sensors and systems it's constantly checking in the background and that just allows you the pilot to kind of have a hands-off approach it's passively done in the background you don't have to think about it and if anything does uh, pop up that needs your attention it'll show up on the screen so this is a big improvement in the overall system reliability just this hand controller um, even the hardware just purely hardware wise there's a brand new connector type which makes it really strong very hard to pull out the old one kind of uses these little pin connectors. You could line it up backwards. Um, they could kind of come out easily. It's not the most robust. This it uses an industrial cable, a locking metal connector, and that's super easy to take on and off. And then it's also super strong, which is nice. Um, this also kind of uh, a lot of people complained on the earlier versions that there wasn't enough throttle feedback. So it's too easy to hit the throttle. I kind of like that, but a lot of people don't. And honestly, I think the new system's a lot better uh, for those people. Now there's a lot more resistance. It's more like a gas motor uh, where it's harder to press the throttle. And also we did some refinement of the motor control so it's smoother, chill mode is more relaxed. So overall it's a lot, lot less like super responsive. You want it responsive, but you don't want it super responsive. So this is kind of a dialed back and physically dialed back at the same time. Okay, and then going over to the power pack system, a lot of improvements here, it's actually kind of fully redone. Uh, the motor is pretty similar, similar internal stator to the motor. There's the motor system overall is about almost two pounds lighter, which is a lot, big deal. And the weight is moved closer to the pilot's back. The electric system before is really awesome because it is really close to the pilot's back, which makes it feel lighter. But this is even more so. A big improvement there, and that's done because the ESC is moved to the side. So this motor controller is moved to the side, allows for better cooling. Um, and also moves weight a little bit more forward, allows this, this motor to be uh, closer to the pilot's back and the battery to slide real tight in there. This motor control also has a sine wave control, which is a different way of uh, driving the motor. Before it's a square wave, um, it's not as efficient that way. Uh, with the sine wave, it allows for better efficiency and also lower heat when running. So that allows you to have a smaller controller housing um, that makes it physically lighter makes your system more efficient, um, kind of brings the whole weight down and also increases like longevity. And then on top of that, it makes for smoother running motor. So startups smoother, really smooth. Um, we have more op options basically for operating at really low RPMs or even stopping the motor in certain orientations. Um, it's kind of a big uh, increase. It's a lot more computationally intensive, but that's all handled inside the motor controller for you. Also with this full power pack revamp, Everything back here is really weather resistant. Um, before there was kind of exposed contactors and stuff like that on the motor controller. 
Now it's super simple. Everything's uh, sealed inside. The motor's fully waterproof. The ESC is waterproof. Um, you don't want to take it underwater, obviously. You probably won't be flying in the in the rain anyway. The wing would kind of run into more of our problems, but it's not a big deal if this gets rained on a little bit. Also, we did mold and over mold special connectors for uh, this whole system. So it's a completely custom wiring harness, makes it really robust. It's very hard to mess, them up, mess something up here. And again, those connectors are improved to the hand controller. It's a full, completely redone wiring harness, which again, makes it a lot more robust. All right, and then the final thing for the power pack um, versus the old system, we went ahead and just chained out all the hardware from steel bolts to titanium bolts. These are grade five titanium, got them anodized a cool little color. Um, that also brings down the weight, uh, makes it look pretty cool, I think. So that kind of equates to a power pack that's like 1.6 pounds lighter just on this kind of back portion and the weights move forward up. So it's a lot more ergonomic geometry and a lot more robust system. And then finally, the battery pack. This just got redesigned recently and now is fully integrated with this system. So it complements it perfectly. Um, and we kind of try to do a forward looking design to make sure it worked with this new system. So the existing battery packs, if you have the 2.5 battery packs, um, this will work perfectly with the system. This is what we ship right now. So again, it has that communication port on top. It's got the uh, discharge buttons, auxiliary port. Uh, it's got a nice new handle, kind of versus the old one. It has these little straps on the side. Uh, not as comfortable to carry. Uh, this new case is an aluminum case, so better cooling. Uh, it's a little bit shorter, overall size. And then, uh, yeah, on top of that, the final thing, which is the biggest improvement, is, is a 30, 35% capacity increase. So that allows, yeah, 30, 35% longer flight times uh, with the same battery pack. So it's actually backwards compatible with the V1 frames and the V2 uh, systems. But this is a, def a big, big improvement. And again, it has all that communication to the rest of the system. So you can log that data and see live information about your battery pack, what's going on versus kind of just guessing, um, which is again, how the old system did it. And then on top of that, with the newly designed 4.8 uh, kilowatt hour battery, it's using cells that have a cycle life rating of 2000 cycles before it reaches 80% original capacity. Before on the old packs with the old systems, uh, the cells were rated for 500 cycles from the manufacturer um, of those cells. And that just means you're going to get a lot longer life out of these batteries. Um, 2000 cycles is a long, a lot of flying um, for a battery pack. Most people don't really don't fly that long, but again, it's just another improvement, makes it a lot more robust and a lot more reliable. So with all these systems designed to work seamlessly with each other, this allows for a better, accurate, uh, more reliable experience. I think my goal is to make the electric really reliable. Um, I think it's already more reliable than gas, but with this new system, it just does like a huge step change as far as simplicity and reliability. Um, I think it's gonna be like five, 10 times better reliability just with those things like the connectors, the battery cells, um, the overall communication in the system. So being able to, in the background, just seamlessly monitor all these different sensors, uh, voltage, temperature, um, any airs, anything that pops up uh, with this new system is just a huge change in reliability versus the old one, which is really good for its time, I think, um, but it just kind of doesn't have any of that information and just o looks at the overall voltage, which can only get you so far. And then on top of that, with all the new cool app stuff we have coming for it, um, allows you to track your friends, monitor your system. It allows for really easy warranty support and re any repairs that are needed. So yeah, this system is just a huge step change in giving the pilot access to kind of all new information and at the same time, keeping it really simple so they're not overwhelmed and just showing them what they need to see. So overall, I'm really happy with this new 2.5 system. I think it's starting to be super polished. We're gonna keep this for the foreseeable future um, and really build around it. Um, I think it's kind of the sweet spot right now, really dialed in. And I know there's some people flying it right now and they love it, but I can't wait for the rest of you guys to really get into them and just to get experience it and how awesome it is. So yeah, that's it. Next, we'll kind of go over the hand controller. I'll show some of the screen stuff, um, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.